All right, so in order for us to find the best width to your squat, sometimes it takes uh, kind of looking at what fits and what feels better uh, when it comes to structural wise. So uh, for this particular test, we're kind of eliminating the muscle part because sometimes you'll be stronger uh, with whether you have a wider stance or narrow stance. So sometimes with a narrow stance, you're gonna have more back posterior chain strong uh, strengths. And then when you go a little bit wider, that's a little bit more quads and also your, your groin muscles. So uh, with that being said, we're trying to eliminate that, just see what's going on and what's feeling better. Uh, so I got this test from Eric Cressy. Usually what you're gonna do, you're gonna go into all fours and then keep that back nice and steady and stable and also locked in so it doesn't move. And then you're just gonna lean back and kind of feel how that feels. Then you're gonna go a little bit wider. And then from there, you're also going to let your heels go in just a tad bit more. Uh, and so you're kind of mimicking what a stance would look like, but now you're kind of eliminating what the muscles have to do. So you're just gonna go back, lock in that back, and then see if you're able to go deeper or if you need to go wider, and then that feels better and you're able to go deeper without losing your neutral back. So I don't know if you're able to see that. Let's, let's, get, let's get naked. All right, let's, let's, not, let's not get naked. Let's just see if you can see what my back is doing and see if your back tends to kind of round out at the bottom where we are basically mimicking the whole of the squat position and then even wider. And so the wider doesn't feel good to me. And it, so for me, I'm, 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 I'm basically neutral about shoulder width, which kind of fits what, what I would expect for me to have in my squat. So everyone's gonna be different, but uh, try that out.